guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. We are gonna get into this really pretty, just like royal blue, aqua, smoky eyed halo kind of a moment. This is definitely like a couple of different, like interesting things that I normally do with my makeup. Kind of all rolled into one. Like I said, I was trying to tackle the blues in this palette and I think I did it pretty well. I think this eye turned out so well. So if you're interested in how to get this look right here, go ahead and keep on watching. Again, we are using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like I said, I cannot get enough of this palette. This palette literally is giving me absolute life. I'm so happy. Every single eye look that has come out of this palette literally has been so amazing. This is definitely a me makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure that you do subscribe to my channel before you leave. Let's go ahead and get right on in to this look. Alright, so I already have my face on, my brows on, so I mean, like I said, this is going to be like a pretty big repeat. I'm just trying to basically get as many looks out of this as possible, just so I can kind of, like I said, show you guys what this palette has to offer. First things first is I'm going to start off with the MFEO shade, which is this one right here. I'm just taking it on a wet and wild blending brush. Buff that in. But I really like this color in this palette because I feel like you can really go in pretty heavy handed with it. And at least for like me being a little bit more of like a medium skin tone, it just blends really well. You get a lot of really good payoff with it. Like I said, I think this is one of those colors that you can go in pretty heavy handed with. It still looks good. I'm going to take Cooter, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to take it on the same blending brush that we wanted with this one. And now we're going in with Cooter. And I'm going to take that and go a little bit lower in my crease with it. And then I'm going to actually just take that same Cooter shade and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line right away. Since we already have it on our brush, why not? Perfect. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. I'm going to take Chip, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna put it on the outer edge of my eye. Because it's a darker color, I'm literally just taking my time and building it little by little. I'm not like going in super heavy handed, like right off the bat because with dark colors especially it is so much easier just to build than it is to take away because once it's there it's there and you aren't taking it off and I'm not really taking this shade too much higher like with the brush than my socket and if you have a hard time knowing where that is what I like to do is I like to tilt everything back and I like to hold my mirror down here and then I like to look down and you can literally feel where your eye socket is I don't want to take that color too much higher than that I will you know obviously blend it into the shades that are next to it so I want the heaviest amount to be below where my socket is so it should kind of really look blown out really smoked out like that then I'm going to take a smaller brush I'm going to take chip on that same brush this is that little small um, royal and lane nickel brush back into that blending brush, connect them right above your socket. Just kind of look like that, a little bit crazy. Then I'm going to take Central Park, which is that brown shade right at the bottom. I'm going to take it on the exact same blending brush that we were just using. Because it's a little bit darker, I'm going to focus this more on my lid than anything. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna lightly smoke it out. So it should look like that. Then I'm gonna go back in with that first blending brush that we used. I'm gonna take that MFEO shade on it and I'm just gonna lightly go right above everything and just smoke it out. I'm gonna take that flame nickel brush again and I'm gonna put that Central Park shade on it and just pack it right into my inner corner. So darken that up, match it. Take the blending brush again and I'm just literally pulling the color down and then going up and connecting them. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smaller packing brush and I'm going to wet it. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and then I'm actually going to go right into this shade right here. It is called Twerk which is this 
really beautiful royal blue shade. It is so gorgeous, like it's beautiful. And I'm gonna pack that right on to my lid where we have that empty space. Take that smaller edge because sometimes when we smoke these out, we have a tendency of kind of losing that edge. I have a tendency of losing the edge. I'm just gonna take it and just repack that. Take my blending brush again. And I'm just gonna lightly go back and forth to kind of blend that matte into the blue. And I'm just gonna take Obsessed on the opposite end, which is this shade right here. So I'm taking on the other side of that packing brush that we wet down and I'm literally just gonna take this Obsessed shade and I'm gonna pack it right into the middle of this table. Just to kind of give it more of like a reflex. And then I'm gonna just take a clean blending brush and I'm literally just gonna go back and forth on that shimmer. So now that we got that all nicely packed down, it looks really, really nice. I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm going to take that Royal and Lane Nickel brush, take the smaller end once again, and I'm going to go into the Central Park shade, which is that dark brown. Lay it down first, and I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm going to kind of stop right where your eye kind of comes up, and then it goes in by the tear duct. I'm going to stop right there. So it should kind of look like that. And then I'm gonna take the other end of that brush and I'm just gonna buff out everything and just really, really smoke it. Don't be afraid to really smoke it out. I'm gonna go back in with that royal blue shade. I'm gonna wet my brush again, take it on the edge, and just right below that blue, I'm just gonna kind of stamp it and just kind of kind of smudge it out. Perfect. Take it on the other end of the brush. I'm gonna go in with Obsess. I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to take this shade right here. It's like a purple shade. It's called Royalty. And I'm gonna pack it onto my pencil brush and I'm gonna lay this down on my inner corner. Then I'm actually gonna wipe off that brush and I'm gonna take that first shade called In Light and I'm gonna pack it over the purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put on some mascara, um, maybe some eyeliner, I haven't quite decided yet, and some lashes and then I will be right back and we can finish the rest of our face. All right guys, this makeup look though is, mm. So what I went ahead and did, oh, I got a hair in my lash. I did the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner. This is in shade Aqua. So I went ahead and I applied that as my liner. And then what I actually did was I took Pool Party out of the palette and liner brush. And I actually just put Pool Party right on top of that liner to kind of set it. But it like did a really pretty effect, right? Right? Yeah. And then for my mascara today, which I've actually been loving a lot, the Lash Paradise, also by L'Oreal. I know a lot of people were comparing it to like the Better Than Sex mascara, but honestly, I like this one way better. I am not a huge fan of the Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know why, I'm just not. Let's go ahead and finish up our face because I feel like I'm looking a little naked right now as far as my face goes so I'm just gonna take my like I even need to show you guys this is just like my straight up ride or die bronzer for real and I'm just gonna bronze up my face the way that I normally would yes okay and then I'm gonna switch it up a wee bit today and I'm going to take my regular highlighting brush and I'm gonna go between In Light and I think this is called Theme. So I'm gonna take it between these two shades right here in that palette and I'm gonna use those as a highlighter.
low. I'm just gonna keep it more towards like the bottom of like the apples in my cheek. You kind of see how it makes just a slight little difference. You guys ever have that where your hair is like, it's almost too clean, where it doesn't look good because there's just, it's too clean. That's my problem. Let's go ahead and do our lip. I just recently purchased a butter gloss from NYX because I've been really, really into new lips. And this is a fortune cookie. And it's super pretty, like, Like the video if you like this look and comment down below what you guys want to see next and I will catch you guys